So I'm just, you know, here at camp, rock hounding, and I'm multitasking. I'm doing my hair while I'm have my head down looking at rocks. <laughs> you guys like it? It's her profile. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Flat on the back. Pretty high up there. <laughs> it was even taller. <laughs> I'm a peacock. <sighs> rock hound problems. Rock hound girl problems. Well, maybe guy problems too. <sighs> Welcome to the adventure closet. I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. Beautiful house. Looks like it needs a new roof. So this area of Ohio is where the famous star bricks came from. Where they're like these bricks glazed and they have a star pattern on them. Um, I never knew that was a thing, but it's world famous. So this is the town of Nelsonville, yeah. Ohio. Nelsonville. It's really cute. Street is lined in brick. Oh my gosh, Halloween's over, but <laughs> look. That's so cool. Then you will arrive at your destination. See, people with old mansions do it right when they decorate. And we're here. The road's even paved with brick, you see that? in the library. Uh, got this really cool spot in the Nelsonville library and they have these private rooms that you don't have to reserve. And we can do voiceovers in here our way back from the library and uh, we noticed all this train stuff it's the Hawking Valley Railway or, or something along those lines yeah I think so Charlie was wondering if this is the old train station. It's right up close to the caboose there.
We found even more train stuff. Look at all these cabooses. That's crazy. And look at the sky, it's beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's an old one. Well, Hawkin Valley Scenic Railway. What's that one say? Hawkin Valley. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, look at this end one. It's like a snow Whoa, scooper. it's that's so cool. I've never seen one of those. Like in person. That's neat. It's like a train plow. Train plow. Train plow. Nelsonville block. So that must have been a brick factory in this town. Uh, yeah, Nelsonville. this is one of the kilns over here. Oh, look at all that. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I guess it pays to get kicked out of the library early. <laughs> There's like old patchwork brick all the way around here. Uh -oh. What's going on in there? It's a secret garden. Oh, I see Charlie. Wait, he got in there. How do I get in? <laughs> I'm coming around. There's a gate over here, it's open. Boy, you can see the old burn marks and such from the, uh, the kiln when it was in use. Stacks and stacks of bricks. This one has a roof on it. It is dark in there. So in this brick here, you can really see the glazed part of it. That's the thing about the star bricks is they're, they've been glazed to, it uh, helps with like, to protect it from like ice and freezing and all that. How oh, freaking neat. This is so cool. Just, just a random stack of bricks. Like the generic bricks. Or they haven't been stamped and glazed yet. They're like Walmart brands. Walmart bricks. <laughs> this one's got a Nelsonville brick right there. Oh, that's so cool. But the rest of them aren't Nelsonville. Wow, look at the iron felting around that. Oh, wow. is the uh, other side. These vines? I've only seen these from now getting to Ohio. And they're huge. They're like something you'd see out of a jungle. And like, that one's going all the way. And that way. Hey, these are cool trees. But it's vines, it's not a tree. Huh. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it just goes, starts there, goes all the way up, and then all the way over, and all the way down. 
thick like a tree. Yeah, that's a huge vine. This is the Nelsonville Brick Park. Um, and uh, there used to be a, a few more kilns here back in the day. Uh, they have been since torn down. I wonder if this sign says anything about it. But it's pretty cool. You know what will hurt an OCD person's heart? That. <laughs> I'm not OCD and that uh, definitely hurts my heart. <laughs> I don't think they had any idea how beautiful this would be many years down the road. They probably would have put it up right. Originated 1880, preserved in 1980. There's even bricks where we parked that we showed you when we got out of the van. Across the street, and then there's a brick chimney over here that's round. The one over here is square. So that's another one of the chimneys from the park. Pretty cool place. There's a dilapidated home across the way as well but no trespassing, but look at this old sidewalk. <laughs> it's all grown over. Catching a beautiful sunset on our way back to camp. Iowa 278 north for two miles. Do you guys see that? There's a building back in the woods. It's getting dark, so it's not it's not showing up super well, but it's there's something back there. Can you see it? Ohio just has this like haunting look to it. Everything's magical. Yeah. Could be the time of year, too. Speaking of haunting houses, haunting looks here in Ohio. Well, That's super cool looking. Of that too. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, literally, we just took a road we didn't know had an end to it. Yeah. Take the next right on the light is fading so fast, I don't want it to go away. I want to see everything. <laughs> So, supposedly this road goes across the river. Okay. Continue on Moral Run Road for two miles. Here's tonight's news for Haydenville, Ohio. There's slowdowns on the Haydenville Road. Old Man Joe's out in the minivan today. That's not a minivan. That's not a minivan. Old Man Joe's out on the road. It's gonna take you 10 extra minutes to get to town for dinner. Oh, he's off now. You can go ahead and finish your show. <laughs> get, get the family loaded up in the car and head to town. The buffet is open and you can still get Old Dutch pancakes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I just say stuff. And this has been your news report for Haydenville, Ohio. Have a good night, y'all. Bye now. Bye now. Turn left onto the US 33 west ramp to Columbus. Columbus. Ain't nobody going to the big city. That's right. We're just going to camp.
Dylan Loomis, very short life, two years old. Same with Frida. Gusecki, two or no, one year old. It's a lot of these unmarked pillars and such here. that say James Cook died January 13th 1878 20 years old Alice Keller three years old a lot of children here the noise you're hearing in the background is a lumber mill which I believe the lumber bill is in the same place as the actual, the brick factory. Another one-year-old. Letta LaDonna Kepler. Cody Alexander. Wow. 1936 to 95. That's what? 59 years old. Lester Alexander. 1908 to 1983. Somebody obviously comes and takes care of this place. So it's got the Starbrick theme, it's got the Starbrick glaze to it. And is that a hand? That is a hand. Lots of children in this uh, cemetery. Charles. Charles. Charles E. Hubble. Charles C. Smith and Mary Jane Smith. Died 1918. Wait a minute. 1891 to 1918. 1918 to 1919. Brother and sister, maybe? No, because he was 25 and she was one. But she was born the year he died. I don't see a marker on this, but it is surrounded by this uh, glazed bricks. Fairly big, like it's like it was two. Frederick R., son of Fred and Mabel Eaton, died December 4th, 1918. Eugene, Evelyn, and Roy. 1928, 1928, 
1927. It's 25. You can tell that uh, a lot of these were brick and they probably poured concrete slabs on a couple of these after the fact, after the brick started to decay. This one's way up at the top of the cemetery. Gilbert Jeffrey died in 1979. So just off the uh, side of the cemetery here, it's a little unmarked path. And this is what we wanted to show you guys. Down here, there's a little structure. Let's go get a better look. So the cemetery is right up here. And we just came walking down this mound here. Now we're down in the gully. And this right here is the Haydenville Tunnel. It's kind of hard to get to. <laughs> so this is the Haydenville Tunnel. It uh, apparently goes back for miles and it has been blocked off for years um, due to unsafe and crumbling of the, uh, the actual tunnel because the tunnel is just made from these bricks here on either side. And uh, there are stories of people walking like half a mile back and more. Funny thing is, it looks like there's a hole you can squeeze through. <laughs> 
if you were small. But what this was was a, uh, a tunnel to bring mine car loads of material from the mines through the mountains several, probably several miles through, all the way back to the, the mill that we heard the sounds from earlier. See if we can see inside. No. And these bricks were purposely rounded to build silos for farmers and such. And they just used the bricks that they had for uh, building the tunnel and the town. You guys see anything in there? Can you get a look? Yeah. And they shored up all the walls with brick as well so that uh, So that the sides wouldn't cave in on them. Now there's no mine tracks left that I'm feeling under the leaves. Just a bunch of mud. But it's pretty cool. And it was fairly big, as you can see. It would be cool to be able to walk through it again. But definitely dangerous. You, I mean, you can even see that it's not even the same shape as it used to be <laughs> around it. So there is a lower road so you don't have to walk down from the cemetery if you didn't want to, but it's always cool to go check out cemeteries. We do have some big old trees here. Look at that sycamore. The thing is giant. That little round house is for sale for 89000 Yes? 69000 69, And the taxes were like $200 a year. Huh. Looks like there was a piano or something inside. That's what it looked like from there too. Yeah. Continue on Laurel Run Road for five miles. Kinda wanna poke my head in. Do you guys wanna poke your heads in? I mean, should we? Looks like you just walk in the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a piano in there. Alright, I can already tell 
this is gonna be cool. So, Dee's Diner, Trucker's Welcome. This place was used. I see that. Careful in there. Snakes. You guys got any coffee? A nice green bar. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Curtains are still up. Christmas lights are still up. The vines grown on the side of the building. There's actually no no trespassing signs on there, which I find amazing. So, pretty cool. I love old dilapidated buildings like this. I know you guys do too. <laughs> So are you guys enamored by the hauntingly beautiful landscape of Ohio? Like, we are. Everything is like mysterious and... We stopped at a creek along the side of the road and just to kind of look at the rocks. I thought this one was really interesting. The way it's been molded by time and water and probably a few smaller rocks. Getting in there, grinding out the center. It's like a little bowl. I want to film like every house I see here because like all these colonial style houses are just so beautiful and like they have to be haunted like every single one of them like it's yeah they have to be
whoa. Yeah, there is a cave back in there. Oh, whoa. Yeah, how does one get there? There is no trespassing signs because there's something very cool in the trees here. There it is. There's a giant cave back there. Lucky people own that. That's so cool. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.